Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the last previous videos, we discussed about something like a method reference. Okay, so today we're going to talk about method reference. But before, if you're new to my channel, please do a subscribe so you can get all the updates. So first of all, what is a method reference and why do we need them? So in Java 8, there are two important things, the Lambda expression and method reference. And we need to understand when to use method reference or when to use Lambda expression. So I'm going to write a simple method here like I'm going to write a static method here, static method, which will return an integer. So the method name is compare numbers. So what I'm trying to do, I'm going to pass two inputs to this method. So integer a comma integer y. So this method has to compare these two methods and it will return the outcome. So what I'm going to do, return. I'm going to use integer under integer. We have a compare method, right? So compare method, we can pass the x comma y okay so there are ways we can access this method so what is the traditional way so we create object to access this method but since it's a static method i can directly access a method using the class name so method reference example dot compare method and i can pass some inputs like 20 comma 10 and then let's create a variable for that so compare so now then let's print the data. So I'm going to call this, um, I mean, I'm going to run the code. Let's see what's going to happen. Right click and run. So we got the result as one because x is greater than y so we are getting one if it is small it will get minus one if both are same we'll get zero okay so now let's talk about lambda expression let's go to the method reference the final stage so for now i want to access this method using lambda expression if you are writing a lambda expression and the receiver has to be a functional interface so this is going to be written an integer right so what is a functional interface which takes outcome as an integer we can use comparator because comparator is a functional interface which takes two input and it will return an integer, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a comparator here. So comparator, which is going to accept an integer in our case, and then comparator one is equal. To, now I'm going to write the Lambda expression. So the method reference is an alternate for a, or, or you cannot say it's an alternate. It's, it's just a, another way of accessing the members. Or you can simply call them as a uh, shortcut for lambda expression. But for now, I'm gonna use the lambda expression. The way I can do that, first thing, the inputs x comma y, and then we need to provide the token, and then we need to call the method. So what is the method I'm trying to look for? Compare number, and we need to pass the inputs. Okay, so now we got the lambda expression, and the receiver is going to be comparator. So if you want to know what is the comparator, go to comparator here. See. Comparator is a functional interface. It has a method called compare. You need to pass two inputs and it will get the integer as an outcome. So this is the abstract method which is available in the functional interface. Now what we need to do? All I need to do just run the code and I need to pass the inputs. So here is going to be comparator with the lambda. So here I'm going to pass the comparator one here, comparator one dot, the compare method, and I'm going to pass the 20 comma 10. So now I'm going to run the code. Let's see what is the outcome. So both are same, but the implementation is a bit different. So comparator one and comparator with lambda also one. So now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to access this particular method through method reference. And before just know one thing when to use method reference for example the implementation which is already existing for example i have implementation here already right so then what you need to you can use the method reference to access the methods in case the implementation is not existing then you can go for lambda expression where you can provide the method body which contains some implementation right okay let's try to access the method since it's a static method, I can access them using my class name. 
and in the method reference the way how we can access static methods for example class name and you need to use two colons here and then the method name so this is how you need to call this is how you need to use the method reference so now we have a static method there are two reference methods okay there are three types accessing a static method or accessing a non-static method and also how to access the constructor in this video we're going to talk about only the static methods next video we'll talk about the non-static methods so i'm going to implement it so what is the class name here so method reference example and i'm going to use the colon and then what is the method compare numbers and then we need to create a variable which can receive this data so obviously it's a comparator so compare numbers and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this line and paste it here so a comparator with method reference so instead of comp compone i'm gonna use comparator num compare numbers method ref okay so now i did the same thing for all the implementation so let me run the code and see what is the outcome so comparator one the first traditional way returns one and the lambda expression which returns one and the method reference also returns one so you can use the normal way if you don't want to use the lambda expression but since we are using java 8 right so we need to make use of the lambda expression and the method reference okay and there are a lot of different methods also available for example if i'm gonna use a um, there are other things so let, let me try one more thing okay so i'm gonna try a function functional interface okay function i'm gonna pass as a string as an input and i'm gonna receive the string as the outcome and then so function interface is equal to, and first the inputs input is one input right it's a function it locks out single input so s and the lambda expression and then what i'm gonna do so i'm going to use s dot to uppercase or to lowercase so this is the lambda expression but i don't have to write in this way because i'm just writing an implementation here but the method is already existing so what i can do instead of doing this way i can use the method reference here like and function interface one and instead of using this the entire thing you can remove it so the uppercase method which is available in the string class right so string and i'm going to use the two colons and the method which i'm trying to access is to upper case that's all as simple as that so both are same implementation but the way it works is slightly different i mean the implementation is different let me try to put some uh, outcome in it so s out so i'm gonna pass the function one function interface one dot apply method and then i'm gonna use something like oh let's use both of them together so and then because we have one more function interface right so i'm gonna use the another one and i'm gonna use the apply method and the input is going to be a java 8 so both of them takes the java 8 and it will return the data okay let's run it see java 8 if you want you can run each one of them as a separate way also so the only thing which i'm trying to tell you is whether it's a lambda expression or a method reference is up to your own decision but you should know when to use method reference when to use lambda expression in a simple way when you don't have an existing implementation you can go for lambda expression because lambda expression you can provide some implementation but there are methods existing so you can simply use the method reference to access them so you don't have to write the implementation again okay so in the next video i'm gonna show you there are two other different methods right like accessing a non-static method or accessing a constructor using method reference so we'll talk about it in the next video until then see you guys